Hello, my name is Gary Monford. I'm the MD of Tembury Guns. That's my dog Tojo, who's going to keep you company while I uh, do this video. So behave yourself, dog. Okay, um, this is part two of the uh, videos concerning the M16A1. Um, the purpose of making it is that I've been promising for some time now to uh, update uh, the previous video because at that time uh, the deactivation process that we were following uh, resulted in a non-operational trigger. Um, that's not the case any longer and we do have operational triggers so I want to demonstrate that. I also want to introduce uh, this new batch of DX uh, that we have available uh, because they, uh, they are an, a considerable um, a save, cost saving to our customers cost saving to us as well um, and we think they'll be pretty attractive to um, uh, collectors on the UK market um, so uh, these are um, uh, no longer uh, as you can see uh, um, factory fresh uh, M1601s you know, these have, have seen a bit of service uh, consequently that means we uh, we got them cheaper um, and we can make them uh, make them available at a much cheaper price to you guys so um, I want to, all I want, really want to demonstrate. I'm not going to go cover all the um, cover all the ground I, I did before. I just want to indicate some of the features of this this particular um, uh, batch. So, um, as we said previously, uh, these things cock, uh, strip, and fire. So I cock it, it fires, um, and I'll show you that as well. Um, So, uh, obviously what's happening here is that it fires as the bolt moves back, it recocks it as it moves forward, it, it changes the interrupter and it fires. So um, that's, that's all as it should be and is an improvement over the last uh, batch. Um, there's no change to the um, deactivation of the bolt or or any other part of the um, of, of the D Act, um, that's the big change uh, that we're introducing. Right back. Now, one of the reasons, um, under normal circumstances, we'd be taking these and we'd be refurbishing them to a high standard. Um, and then selling them for a large amount of money, um, upwards of £2,000. Um, in this case, however, I'm not going to do that. And this is a trend I think you'll, you're going to see over the rest of 2015, is that we're going to start selling um, old spec style DX at cheap prices uh, and not spending the time and expense in renovating them ourselves. What we're going to do is sell them in an almost as is condition. Um, we have to do some work, otherwise people um, um, don't really think they're getting value for money. Um, so we'll do some work um, and then we'll, we'll sell them on so that folks can then make their own choices about which parts of the weapon they want to renovate or refurbish. So example in this case, um, this is a, an M16 that's seen plenty of service, so the classical um, butt uh, uh, breakages have occurred here but this is just um, uh, a piece of ABS or whatever plastic it is um, which you can get on the internet very cheaply especially from the States um, uh, and you, so you could choose to to make that change uh, or not or you may say okay well there's a small crack here in the four in the four stock uh, I think I'd rather get a, a new set of four stock um, and, and, and then the, the decision is up to you, or you could do what I would reckon you should do, is just leave it alone. It's all um, contemporary, it's all um, with, it, with, its t with its time, um, all the bits fit together as they, as they, they should, out of the box. Um, of course, the uppers, it's only the lowers that have um, um, serial numbers on these things anyway. Uh, and there's, there's something to having a 
weapon that's seen a bit of service. So I wouldn't do anything to them personally, but um, what we want to do is, is give that choice to, uh, to the customer. Um, and then you can make your own uh, decision. So that's what we're going to do. I think this will probably retail for just under a thousand pounds in the UK. Uh, which might sound like a lot of money for somebody who still needs some refurbishment. Um, but because we sub these things are available from uh, other, uh, perhaps more polished places on the internet for over £2,000, uh, I think that's a reasonable amount of money to ask, particularly given what I'm, I know I paid for them. So um, I hope you'll be um, ready to give me a call and order one. Um, Thank you for your time and um, keep watching the videos.